Your your mum's from Canada, isn't she? Yeah, so she was born in a place called Bracknell mm-hmm. in Berkshire, and she moved to Canada when she was very young, and she mm-hmm. lived there for um, a long time. And mm-hmm. but now she's back. My dad's from. My dad was born in Llanelli. Yeah, and he joined the police force, and mm-hmm. he was based in Pembroke Dock for a a long time mm-hmm. he'd probably correct me on the years if he was watching this <laughs> and then and then he was based in Tenby for the last 10 years I think of his career mm-hmm. um so yeah he moved down here and he stayed here have you ever wanted to make uh films about pens or like do you think there's inspiration in Pembrokeshire for your films I think so, yeah. I think most of the time when I'm thinking about a film idea, it does come back to Pembrokeshire. Mm-hmm. Whatever it... Oh, sorry, there's a timer. Yeah. My washroom's done. Um, <laughs> yeah. It may, if, um, yeah. Basically that. So whenever I think of a film idea, it's mainly... It comes down to a location, to be fair. Not a specific location. But every time I'm thinking of an idea, I think of Pembrokeshire... And this isn't a lie. Like, it, it, it just comes back to the roots, I think, that, you know, where you've grew up and that's sort of the main inspiration, to be honest. Because um, there are stunning uh, scenes around Pembrokeshire. So um, you sort of, well, in, in my mind, it sort of creates, creates it around the landscapes. And because you've got, You've got a lot of history in Pembrokeshire and um, a lot of different uh, different landscapes and, yeah, different bits of history, lovely beaches. So I think, yeah, it, yeah, it definitely does inspire uh, ideas that come to mind and just the people in general. Like, it's so laid back down there and it's so relaxed that, you just sort of want to do things down there and you just go at your own pace. So mm-hmm. that's what I love about it. To sort of stand out, I'd say maybe the good times that mm-hmm. you've had yeah. with your mates. So, you know, a nice Stein night with <laughs> the boys. Yeah. Um, I remember the a, a bit of a sad one it was when we all sort of got together just before we left the university Mm -hmm. that stood out for me it was when I think we just went to the lifeboat and it might have been Stein night we might have just gone for a pint but it was it was the group of lads that we sort of hung around and yeah it was quite melancholy at the time because it was like oh we're having a good night together and then you know we sort of went our own went our own ways a bit Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that night stood out, and then we went down the harbour, didn't we? After after mm-hmm. a couple of nights, nice. yeah, that night. And then there's other nights where you know you get a bit weird or a bit <laughs> <laughs> things would happen that you sort of regret or don't regret. Oh, fair. Sometimes whispering in the location manager's ear as well to be like, oh, we need someone that's that's really dynamic and and cool and you're like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I try. I'll try and slip that in at some point. Yeah, I think. But I, a lot. I think a lot of people, a lot of productions are starting to sort of go that way. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing now that a lot of people, a lot of shoots right now are in Bristol and Cardiff. There's a lot going on in Cardiff, and Mm -hmm. I think it's sort of slowly pushing a bit further west. Nice. Like there has been a couple of films in the past that were filmed at Fresh West, like Deathly Hallows Part <laughs> One, uh, Robin Hood, and a lot of others, I think. But yeah, I'm yeah hoping that maybe Pembroke will have a studio opening oh, up. Nice. Would you would That'd you like great. to see a film industry um, start in Pembrokeshire? That would be great. I don't know where they'd put it, but that would be epic because you have all these landscapes on the doorstep. Um, you'd probably bring in a lot more employment and a lot of people, surprisingly, 
would be very uh, keen, I mm. think. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, because now I think within the film and TV industry, it's it's kind of booming at the moment because you've mm. obviously got like Netflix as well and you've got now your Apple TV and Amazon Prime. There's loads of productions being rolled out. Mm. Um, Pemish is a great place uh, to be and to film and... Yeah, I think it'd do good for the local economy as well. So mm -hmm. be great. Yeah. So, yeah. 100%. What, what stories do you think could come out of pens? What stories? Yeah. Oh. Um, what stories? I think it'd obviously make a good like crime drama. Mm -hmm. I think. You, did you see that one recently with them? Um, Luke Evans. Oh, the Pembrokeshire Murders. Yeah, the Pembrokeshire yeah. Murders. Yeah, that was good. I think maybe a bit more of that because mm -hmm. that's quite good. I remember watching Broadchurch and being like just attached to it because all it, it just looked really nice and the locations were amazing. I think something like that might work mm -hmm. down in Pembrokeshire.